Okay, a little more testing here. I set it at four amps for fun. I'm still on the uns one of the unswitched wires. Turn it on, four amps. It's running uh, an actual four amps at 44 watts and 11.13 volts drop. Um, dial it up to eight amps, drops to 9.92. .9 I think that's pretty normal for a wire that small. Um, I'll reset it at four. And I've already tested the other unswitched power wire. It's identical. I'll turn the load off. Leave the amp, the uh, load setting at four amps. Switch to the, the unswitched power to the key switch wire, which is 63. On wire 63, you can see right here it's sensing 12 volts, 12.36. I'll turn the load button on. Drops it to 11.15 exactly like the unswitched power. I think there's only a 5 amp fuse on the key switch wire. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not going to run it past five, 5 amps though. But at 5 amps it's 10.81. 4 amps it's 11.13. 3 amps, uh, 11.4, 2 amps, 11.73 volts. And, uh, here's the actual current being delivered and the calculated wattage. There you go. Variable uh, DC load. I think I paid 350 bucks for it and I just love this thing because it uh, gives me a lot of information. I can dial in constant resistance, constant amperage, or constant wattage. It's really awesome. Load off. Machine off.